beetle juice it is known as beetle juice what is what does it look like from the name it's very difficult to find out right what exactly are we talking about but over here we can see from the figure that some kind of a star or some maybe a sun sun obviously is in, is in star so some kind of star we are talking about so yes so beetle juice is a kind of red super giant star so you remember uh, in the previous uh, topics we have we have read about red dwarf right you remember that and we have also read about red giant something which the our own sun will convert into red giant but then what is red super giant we have not read about it right so red giant was something when the solar mass was as you would remember solar mass was less than 8 solar mass right whatever the, the mass of the uh, star was less than 8 solar mass so it will stay in the region of red giant what exactly was red giant so every star has a phase just like humans we take birth there is a young phase and then we die so for example every star will have that phase there is a birth phase and then there is a young phase and then there is a phase of old age right so this particular thing and then it will die right so this particular red giant would be the old age phase in which our sun is also going to enter so when all the fuels the fuel uh, within the sun or any other star that we're talking about will get exhausted so what will happen what will happen the core is going to shrink right the core of the star is going to shrink and because of this shrinking huge amount of mass is going to accumulate in a very small amount of volume and that will make it more and more dense and that might lead to explosion right it will lead to explosion and since the mass is more than eight uh, eight solar masses for this particular red super giant we are talking about it will lead to supernova explosion isn't it it will lead to this is something which we have already uh, seen in previous topics right so this red super giant is those are those stars in which you know the mass is more than eight solar mass right that is something which we can see so over here we can see that this is this is available this is present in the constellation orion so there are various uh, well known constellations you can have you can just remember those names or you can go through the names it's not very required so orion is also one of the one of the constellation this is how it looks like let's have a look so this is the orion it looks like a hunter that is why it's also known as the hunter constellation something like that it looks like a hunter can you see uh, this is a this is the body then this is some this is the hand and this is the axe that is uh, that it is holding so something like that so this particular star which is beetle juice is over here can you see the position of this particular thing so this is orion and this particular star is present over here let's have a look so it is one of the largest and the brightest star that is why it has become important if it is very large if it is very why is it why is it large because it has entered that phase of old age phase what happens in the old age phase the core shrinks right but the external thing they start expanding right so if we put this particular star in the place of our sun probably it will uh, drive away the entire earth and even you know uh, planets jupiter and saturn so it has huge amount of radius right so this has expanded so that is why it is very large but it is among the brightest star also so since it's very bright therefore it becomes easier for us to you know study this particular star that is why it becomes important we can study we can understand about what is happening in the universe and various other phenomena that right? various questions that we have to answer so that is why it can even be seen with the help of naked eyes also right that is why it holds importance so what are the key features why are we reading about it so it has a supernova potential it might go through a phase of supernova explosion that is over, that is there right and uh, and uh, if it will happen it will go through the type 2 supernova now this is something which we have not discussed earlier right so there are various types of supernova now in this particular topic we will see it so there is type 1 and there is type 2 so obviously there is going to be some difference and there are certain subtypes also of the type 2 we will see what what exactly is there right and variability so uh, variability is again one of the features of this particular star because because you know the the light of this particular star the light of this particular star keeps on changing it uh, you know it keeps on dimming sometimes then again it becomes bright or something so it also gives us a dimension to understand uh, this particular phenomena of diminishing light why exactly light is reducing at some time you know it will help us understand what exactly happens at the end phase of the star that is why this particular star becomes very important all right so meaning is brightness fluctuates over the period of time the size of the star also keeps on changing 
right and it appears like a crushed into a matlab it it does not it it has a irregular shape as well so all these things are very unique for a star and that is why this becomes very important so let's have a look at the various uh, types of supernova there are two broad types of supernova type 1 and type 2 and type 1 has certain subtypes as well so what is the basic difference between them so first basic difference is how uh, from where they are originating right so type 1 is originating from a white dwarf okay now i have told you in in the previous uh, topics that when the white dwarf when the white dwarf will go beyond the mass of 1.5 solar mass it will become what unstable isn't it it will become unstable and when it becomes unstable it might go through a supernova explosion that is what we have already discussed and that is where this particular knowledge comes into picture so this particular type one goes through the phase of white dwarf right and type two goes through the massive star matlab it's a massive star the core is going to shrink right and because of this shrinking because of huge amount of mass which is going to get accumulated in a small volume there is going to be explosion so they have different forms of explosion they have different ways right so here are what we see matter accumulation and merger now uh, initially let's say the white dwarf that we have the star that we have is having mass less than 1.4 so these type of supernova which is supernova a type 1 are mostly associated with binary systems mostly associated with binary system so this particular star will take up you know this particular white dwarf you know will take up mass or will take up material from the other a star which is there in the binary system and therefore its own mass is going to increase once it crosses this particular uh, value of 1.4 this will and this might enter in this particular phase of type 1 supernova okay and uh, here we see uh, in that in the type 2 supernova we have seen that this is because of the core collapse the, and the core is going to collapse and because of which supernova explosion is going to happen now one thing you can understand that the presence of hydrogen uh, hydrogen is absent in this particular type 1 supernova and this is present in the type 2 supernova something uh, not very significant it's just that for your awareness you have to understand this so you have understood the various types of uh, supernova type 1 and type 2 and why they are getting created and what is going to be the end product so this particular thing this particular the star will have will uh, will go through the type 2 so what supernova because it is huge therefore it will uh, go through the process of collapse of the core right that is there